All right, everybody, let's talk about it. It's Money Fox. It's about that time. We got maybe another two minutes for everybody to check in. I'm going to do a voice check. If you can hear me, Tony and John, hello. Please let me know that you can hear me. Help me out there. How's everybody doing? Let's get everyone checking in here. Nikki Coase, Will Belcher, Kirby Sky, thank you for watching. I want to make sure that you can hear me. If you can uh, <laughs> text back and say, hey, that you can hear me, then I'm good. Give me a yes. Hey, Minnie Fox. Hey, Will Belcher. How you doing? Can you hear me? Is that a yes? Can someone give me a yes? <laughs> Let me have a guess here. We got a few more minutes. Another minute or two here. All right, let's do this. How's everybody? How's everybody? We're checking in live here. Let's talk about it with Minnie Fox. Looking forward to getting busy. So let's get busy here in just a moment. All right, David, thank you for checking in. Charlotte Jordan, oh my God, Charlotte. <laughs> long time, long time. Thank you all for checking in. So it's enough of us on here to get started. It's right about 5.30 and you're watching. Let's talk about it with Minnie Fox. I am so very excited that you all have chose to join me today as we have taken the Minnie Fox Talk Show to Facebook Live to do something a little different, to check in with you and see how you're feeling. So my show is all about you. What you do, what you like, what you don't like, who you like, what you're doing, what you're saying, right? So here's what we're going to do. My first question is to all of you today. And that question is, how are you feeling? Okay, respond back and let me know how you're feeling. I need to know. Hey, Willie James, how you doing? I would like to know, how are you feeling? Charlotte says, it's been a long time. Yes, it has. And Will Belcher, thank you for checking back. I understand that you can hear me now. <laughs> My first question to all of you that are watching out there, how are you feeling? Are you feeling good? Are you okay? Are you having some problems or issues? Is there some questions that haven't been answered for you yet? Please let me know, how are you feeling today? Someone say, Hey, Sheila. Hey, Shanna. Thank you for checking in. Well, I'll start and tell you how I'm feeling. And while you all are trying to figure out how you're feeling, how about that? I'm feeling pretty good today. It has been an amazing day getting ready to uh, present to you some great things that we're going to talk about in just a little bit. Uh, the morning has been very excited and very busy. But... Kirby said, I feel alive and well. Thank you, Kirby. You feel alive and well. And Kirby is one of those young men who I mentored indirectly. And I mean, Kirby, I'm glad you're feeling alive and well and doing good out there in Las Vegas. Hey, everybody, look. I'm just going to start out with just saying this is a great opportunity for me to be able to still reach out to you all as opposed to interviewing in the kitchen or on the couch as we were doing and we will get back to that at some point and I wish I could see you all like you see me I see the little dots up there and your beautiful faces and your uh your IDs there but I wish I could see your faces um and so we could talk well what is let's talk about it if you did not watch last week shame on you but we're going to come on every Tuesday for as long as possible at 5.30 to talk to you about what's going on in the world. We're going to share some fashion, some beauty tips. We're talking about what's going on in life. Yeah, we know we got COVID and the coronavirus and everything. But guess what? We are rising above it as best as possible. And you're being safe out there because you told me you were. 
And we're going to be alone together, but together we're never alone. Like right now. So let's see what you're saying. Let's see. Oh, Claudine, thank you. Hey, girl, how you doing? And Carolyn Tharp is watching. Thank you, Carolyn. Now, Charlotte uh, Jordan said, life is good. Right now, I've lost Ken, my husband. Now, enjoying life. Well, you know, all the watchers and myself, we extend wonderful blessings to you. And as a woman of empowerment that I remember you were, you are amazing. So, alone or not, anybody that ever came in your presence, including myself, I was blessed just for you to say, hey girl, what's up to me, you see? So, your empowerment is great and wonderful, Charlotte, and continue to be out there doing great things, COVID or not, yes? Angelo, thank you for checking in. Then Mar, thank you for checking in. Hey, Cousin Carolyn. Well, Angelo is getting us started here today. He says, hey, Minnie, how you doing? Welcome back to your live. <laughs> Thank you, Angelo. And it helps that when you are responding to me, for me to be able to respond to you. I have to tell you all, it's really different. And the reason why it's different is because you're not sitting here next to me on the couch with my pretty little gray pillows. You know, my colors are black and gray and black, silver, and blue. And you're not here. So I'm trying to be there in your world. And man, I just wish I could see you guys. But keep on sending me those comments so we'll have more to talk about. Now, what I'm going to uh, start off with again today is what we talked about last week. This week, some of you did write in, and thank you so much for writing in to the mini fox talk show at gmail.com. And we were talking about pet peeves. So I'm going to read some of the pet peeves that came in after I say hello to Frank de Gorville, one of the most awesome, oh, martial arts men in the entire world. We're talking beyond uh, the black belt and uh, shizitsu and, and, um, Taekwondo and you know street fighting and all that. Look him up, Frank de Gorville in Los Angeles. He trained my son and he is amazing. And thank you, Lisa Thornton. Girl, where you been? What's going on? It's so good to see you here. All right, y'all. Now let's look at what we were talking about was pet peeves, and there were at least two people that wrote into the show. And they wanted to share what their pet peeves were, so let's do it. We're talking about roommates. So those of you out there that have had a roommate or two in your time. <laughs> I remember it's some roommates right now, I'm just thinking about. But um, they wrote in the show, and it was uh, Roy from Atlanta. And he said when he had his roommates... Man, he was tired of cleaning up behind grown people. I gotcha. He also stated that his roommates would wait until he put the toilet paper or the paper towels or the soap in the bathroom. So that means no one else was pitching in to do it, right? I can understand that pet peeve, Roy. Thank you for sharing that. All right, you're watching Joy Love. Girl, how you doing? Calvert Pryor, hello. So, as you're clicking in and... Talking to me right now via this wonderful Facebook where we can reach out and touch each other in a certain way. Let me know. What is your pet peeve? And that's the question I'm asking you. So we can share it with everyone. What is your pet peeve? While I'm waiting for you to respond to me, I'm going to let you know one of my pet peeves. All right. This is for the ladies. You are out. You're having a good time. Maybe you're at a nightclub or otherwise you're enjoying some dinner, etc. You decide you need to go to the ladies' room. Hello. Well, you spend a little time in the ladies' room, and that's okay because some of us do that. But ladies, you got to keep the perfume and the air freshener and things like that in your purse. Yes, handle your business, but please just do that. I carry mine with me, and I know y'all going, what? Yes, Minnie Fox is unplugged on this show. I get to talk about some very interesting things that I usually don't talk about. So here we go. When you're out in public, and that goes for the men too, you need to take your air freshener, have your little uh, compact perfume spray or whatever in your purse. And it's nothing like meeting someone, and you're in line, get some popcorn, and you're just talking to the person, and... All of a sudden, it's like, ooh. And you kind of want to offer a breath mint or a piece of gum, but you're not 
sure if you would offend the person, so you stand there and you kind of hold your breath and you smile while they're talking to you. Uh huh. All right, you guys. When you are out and about now, we got social distancing. So, a hey, the pet peeves that we're talking about today. Some of those things don't even matter anymore. But guess what? Life is going to get back to normal, but in a different way. So get ready. Aura Palmer. Hey, girl. That is my sister. Oh, my God. From Ohio. Thank you for checking in. I want you to know I love you so much. And what you all need to know, that my sister Aura has not uh, only been a nurse, but a registered nurse, an LVN, and a hospice nurse. And she's doing her work out there on the front line, helping those families in need with this COVID and Corona. And my sister, my heart goes out to you and my niece. You all take good care of each other and be safe out there. And Nikki Lee. Hello, Nikki Lee. What's going on, girl? Latoya, can you just tell me one of your pet peeves that you could share with someone here that is watching with us? Latoya is a dance instructor, owner, entrepreneur, a queen of one of my wonderful shows that I produce and she is amazing in the community in Inglewood and her school has the love of hundreds of children to come to her school to learn the arts the performing arts that is to include dancing ballet tap jazz toya my hats off to you girl tap in and let us know what are some of your favorite things you love to do and let us know about it all right, so you guys are making it a little hard for me because I am talking and I want you to talk to me and share with me some of your, one, pet peeves. Tell me, please, what is one of your favorite songs? We're going to talk about that. And share with me, why is it hard to clean up behind a grown person? We're going to help Roy out a little bit in Atlanta. <laughs> Spiral, thank you for checking in. Michelle, hey girl. Now Michelle, now you know better. You need to send me a note and tell me something what's going on because I know you have a whole lot of set to say because you were always on Facebook. So I'm going to wait for you to say something. Now William Belcher is a uh, film producer and he said he hates people taking pictures of him in his sleep. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if we're going to go there, will you? But okay, pet peeve, people taking pictures of you while you sleep. Shame on you people taking pictures of William while he's sleeping. All right, let's check in here. Let's see. Hey, Greg Gasper, thank you so much. Oh, let's see. Frank DeGorville said, you are underrated, Minnie Fox. Your show should be on a national platform like the Wendy Williams show. Oh, well, thank you this is so very much. That makes me feel really good. I like Wendy. Wendy a little more direct than me. I just learned how to be a little direct in the past year or so. So y'all watch out. I might be saying some stuff y'all don't want to hear. I'll try to keep it cool and comfy cozy. But, you know, as things have been moving on, sometimes you want to talk about some of the other things in the world. I appreciate that, Frank. And our show is about you. It's about all of you that are watching and the various things that you want to do in life. What are your gifts? Why are you doing what you do? Is it to motivate others? Is it to motivate yourself? What is it? Why? And that's what we talk about on our show. We recently released onto YouTube, on our YouTube channel, for those of you who are following the Mini Files Talk Show on YouTube, is the Breast Cancer Awareness. I attended an event back in October uh, with the Black Image magazine, and they did a huge caravan right down the middle of Las Vegas Boulevard onto the Strip. It was amazing, and I stood out, and I filmed everything. So go to uh, YouTube and watch our shows on there and see what we did for breast cancer awareness. Now, uh, Denise Britt has tapped in. Thank you, Denise. Uh, that's the queen of Facebook, Denise Britt. It, well, okay. Instagram. Check out Denise Bread on Instagram. <laughs> she knows how to do all these fun animated things that many don't know how to do, but I'm going to learn them. Thank you, Denise, for, for watching. Trinita, my sister girl, Trinita, I'm so happy that you have chose to uh, tap in today. You're leaving Las Vegas. 
I'm going to miss you. Tito, pass me a tissue. Yo, okay, y'all know I'm an actress, so I got to do some comedy there. I got to get everybody to laugh in some kind of way, right? Nikki says she hates People, when they are picking her up late from work in her own car, and her car is empty. Picking me up late from work in my car and leaves my car on empty. I heard that, girl. You know, right now the gas prices are down really low, so it shouldn't be any reason why anybody is picking Nikki up in her car and then putting any gas in it. Because right now, at all the gas stations, that's Shell, Mobile, uh... The gas station that's connected to 7-Eleven, all of those gas stations now, you can get 91, which is the best grade for the price that you were paying for 86. So it's pretty cool. You guys go to the gas station to get some gas. And Nikki, tell him I said, make sure you get what you're supposed to have. And that's a full tank of gas because you're a diva and you deserve that. <laughs> Sandra, thank you for checking in. Raquel Hines is watching. You all make this so wonderful for me. Iris, hey girl, look, this show does not function unless you all are writing in, telling me what you want to talk about. Ula Toya says she hates people being late. Do you all watching understand that when you are on time, if you're supposed to be somewhere at 5 o'clock and you show up at 5, you're late. That's what that means. You are late. If you show up at 5 o'clock, you're supposed to be there at 5 o'clock. You know, politically correct, you're supposed to be there about 15 minutes till. Leave yourself some room for things that you don't know what might happen. Yes, don't be late. Okay, here goes a pet peeve from Ora Palmer. She said, my pet peeve is people who tell a lie for no good reason. I didn't even ask you, so stop talking. <laughs> Ooh, I like Aura. <laughs> she said, people that tell a lie for no good reason. Because you know what happens, folks, when you tell a lie? And I'm going to sip, sip on this one. You got to tell another lie to cover that lie. Because most times you can't remember the lie that you told, which is why you need to tell another lie to keep the other lie safe. Mm. And that's hard work. To try to remember what you lied about to keep your lies going. So just tell the truth. No matter what it is. If the person's going to get mad, hey, they got mad. But they can't be too mad at you because you told the truth. Thank you, Aura. Crystal and Harry, thank you for checking in with us. And Mark, oh my goodness. So, oh, Carla said that you could find her at Carla Britt 80 on Instagram. And you want to follow Carla Britt. You're going to learn all this fancy new outfits and anything that has to do with a holiday or prints. Trust me, Carla is in all total gear. And it's one of a kind outfits and wigs and hats and shoes. It are unbelievable. So follow Carla Brett 80 on Instagram. And thank you so very much for checking in. Crystal, she said, I want to start my own tour. For the new year, Must Raven, celebrity female, Michael Jackson impersonator. Come on with it, girl. That's what we're talking about. That's what this show is all about, to expose you. So Crystal Nicole Pullen, y'all remember that name. Crystal Nicole Pullen wants to start her own tour for the new year. And I'm going to spell it. Michael Jackson Raven, R-A-V-E-N, celebrity female, Michael Jackson impersonator. And you know, we, we got to come together on some Michael Jackson. Come together. All right, y'all. Right now. Oh, over me. Okay. I love Michael Jackson. I had to go there. You know, you just can't. Okay, I'm going to beat it. I'll stop. All right. Hey, Michelle Miller, what are you talking about? Let's talk about staying healthy by exercising while being at home. Yes, that's a good idea. Then she said, there are lots you can do in the house to keep up the heart rate besides eating and watching TV. LOL. Z. Go, Michelle. What she means is, go to YouTube, I mean, sorry, go to Facebook and look up Michelle Miller. 
Mm -hmm. And then you are going to see what she's been doing because Michelle posts all of her workouts. The sweat, the tears, the weights, running on the treadmill, all the exercise that you need to be doing at home is what she's talking about. And go to Michelle Miller at Facebook and you're going to find everything that she's doing because it's a good idea. I know for sure for me, I had to kind of back off of eating the bread because uh, now we're not as active as we used to be. And um, the bread kind of wants to stay. And watch out for the peanut butter cookies. <laughs> Robin, what's up, girl? She said, we got to catch up. All right, we got to catch up. Hey, MP, thank you for checking in. Now, I love the fact that you all are checking in because many of you, I know who you are. And so when you do that, I'm going to say something about you. So M.P. Hosman, hey, he is the king of hip-hop and rap. Now, his hip-hop and rap is a little different. So you can find him actually on Facebook. He has an Instagram page and everything. He's been a wonderful inspiration in the community of Las Vegas and helping young people to find themselves in that whole music world and not to be afraid. All right, Angelo said, I got a question. Have you listened to the good music of Whitney Houston? Yes, Angelo, I have. I love Whitney Houston. There's three Whitney Houston songs that I've performed in concert. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing them now. And what you do when you sing a Whitney Houston song, everybody, you sing the ones that are the feel-good songs. You know, the ones that everybody knows. So in case you missed that note, <clears throat> it doesn't matter because everybody's singing it and they're not listening to you hitting that note anyway. But there's only one Whitney Houston. I love her. There is no one that could ever replace Whitney. And her voice and what she brought to the world of music will continue on as she is a legend in all of our time. Thank you for sharing that, Angelo. All right. Latoya said you can find her at Dancer for Life studio on instagram and facebook dancer and then the number four life studio on instagram and facebook latoya barner bellamy now i would be remiss because her husband is actually one of the shout outs that i was giving out today his name is chef calvin bellamy and you've been seeing him on my page with his live cooking shows prep to plate. He's showing you how to prep to plate. That is from the beginning, how you cleanse the, the chicken and prep the collard greens and make that macaroni and cheese. He's showing you from the beginning to the end and how pretty it looks on the plate. Sometimes you don't even want to eat it because it looks so good. So check out Latoya Bellamy and Calvin Bellamy on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, Trinita says she will always be with me. Thank you. I miss you so much. You're leaving Vegas. I want to wish you a, a safe trip and travel. And wherever you're going, the sun is always going to be there because you're bringing it with you. You go, girl. All right. So, hey, Felton. I hope I pronounced your name correct. Thank you for tuning in with us. Penny Zimmerman. Now, Penny Zimmerman is someone who is a light on Facebook. You always see her smiling and her energy is amazing. And I've been blessed to have known her for many years. She said, I need to get your show with the beautiful you. <laughs> Let's do some fun. She's in Arizona now and I'm in Vegas, but she loves Vegas and I love Arizona. So we're going to work something out. Thank you, Penny. James Fearson, thank you so much for watching. Now, when everything kind of gets the, back to where it is, or not, depending on what your pay grade was and whether you're still an essential and you working or not, James Pearson over at the uh, Toyota Auto Square over in Henderson is called the Auto Square Show. Auto Show Square. And it is where all of uh, the Toyota, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, all of them are. And James works over there. He's an amazing person. He will help you find whatever car you're looking for and make sure you get the good deal. So those of you that are trying to get a car or downsize your transportation because of whatever's going on here in the world now, go see James Pearson. 
over at Auto Show Drive in Las Vegas. All right, Nikki. Nikki, thank you for checking in. She says, my sis Felicia here with me and people are buying things you can't afford to impress people when you can't. Okay. Okay. Nikki got a real one here. She just struck a chord for everybody. I better take a sip, sip. Hold on. And remember, oh, today, this is the vanilla chai, mm, mm, vanilla chai protein by the Koala line. And right now, the 99 cent store has them um, for 99 cent when they're like uh, almost $3 at Sears. At, at Sears. Ooh, Sears is out of business almost. Sorry, Sears. Uh, <laughs> at um, Smith's. Or Albertsons. And see, it's just kind of creamy. Like, it's really delicious. You guys got to get some. So, here's the chord that Nikki just struck for some people. She's saying, right now, uh, this is a pet peeve for her. Right now, people are buying things they can't afford. Because they're trying to impress other people when they can't even pay their rent. So, uh, <clears throat> what do we say about that? We say this. It doesn't matter who you're trying to impress. They may be impressed for that amount of time. When it's all said and done and the rain stops raining of whatever it is you're doing and the sun comes out, then it's going to be known that, hey, you couldn't afford whatever it was you bought in the first place. So why are you doing that to impress somebody? And if you don't have any place to stay because you got evicted because you couldn't pay the rent, uh, <clears throat> what are we talking about, people? Even with this COVID-19 and, and his cousin Corona, guess what? You have to still have your essentials. As always in life, a roof over your head, a secure place to live, transportation to get around, even if that means the bus or a cab, if you can't afford a car. And you got to have food on your table. Those are your three top things that you have to have for survival. And even having that, that's going to help you to take care of you and yours, your kids, or even if you are single or what have you. But yes, Nikki, that is true. That is a pet peeve that Nikki Lee said, hey, watch out. Stop flossing and buying things that you can't afford, people. Penny Zinnerman, it's now a time for all to love. Be kind, offer help. Stay focused and be positive. I miss you, Minnie. I miss you too, Penny. And with Penny saying that, I am going to give you what our thought today is because she just hit the nail on the head with the thought of today. Our thought of today is this. There is no fear in love. Love is always perfect. And when you have fear in your love, you are punishing not only the person you claim you love, but you're punishing yourself. So therefore, remember, there is no fear in love. And the one who fears is not made imperfect because love is perfect. How about y'all? Remember that, right? Isn't that beautiful? Yes, thank you, Penny. Okay, Iris, let's talk about the queen and how we take care of ourselves great so you right on time for what we call our beauty buzz and how we as queens are going to take care of ourselves as i mentioned some of you actually did write the show and one of you wrote karen from texas wrote in in a category we call the beauty buzz and she wanted to know what was some of my beauty secrets so i wanted to share with you today how we cleanse our skin so, Iris, you said let's talk about the queens. That's all of us, no matter what your nationality is. How do we take care of ourselves? So, during this time, ladies, you know, you can't get your fingernails done, your toes done, can't get your facials, your waxing, your massage therapy, all the things that we do to kind of keep ourselves young and healthy and beautiful. But guess what? There's ways to do that. So, inexpensively, go to the 99 cent store, because they're all open. You can go to Big Lots. They're open, too. And get your manicure set. They're not that expensive. They're like 4 or $5. Manicure set. File your nails. 
polish your nails with clear polish until you can get your fingernails back in shape. You all that know me, I always wore my nails a nice length, uh, round square. And then all of a sudden I found out about the, the stiletto nails and the coffin nail. I like the coffin nails because they weren't as pointed. And just as I started to really begin wearing my nails like that, guess what? Here comes COVID and Corona. Here comes the salons and everything getting closed down. And like last week, I still do not have any nails on. I did go, like I told you all, and buy some press-on nails. But I haven't had time to put them on. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is how we're going to take care of our nails and feet. All right? So you still want to, you know, clip your toenails, file your nails, file your fingernails, use plenty of lotion. You could take some aloe vera and some good cocoa butter lotion and mix that together and protect your hands. Also, Queen Helene has some wonderful uh, cream cocoa butter. And that helps to keep the skin because it's a penetrator, not a coater. And you want something that's going to penetrate your skin because you're using a lot more water than usual. Now, on that note, when we cleanse our facial skin, some of you are used to putting extreme hot water on your face and you think the hotter the water is, the cleaner your skin is. No, no. You're damaging your skin. You're, one, causing premature wrinkles out there. Premature wrinkles. You are also causing your skin to overreact because the water is so hot and you're pulling all your oil out of your skin. And once you dry your face, then guess what? Your skin's going, ah! And all of a sudden, you have all these oil breakouts on your face. You're doing that to yourself. So when you cleanse your skin, just find a nice, good cleansing gel that you like. They have it everywhere. Walmart, uh, Target, they all sell it. Uh, just a nice line that you like. The way it smells, if it has a nice aroma to it, great, wonderful. Nothing with the alcohol in it, so you're not... Uh, causing your skin to overreact. Soap it up with warm water. Warm water. Once you use the warm water on your face, you rinse really, really well, then you want to follow with the cool water. The cool water helps to close the pores, but you got to cleanse the skin first. Once you close your pores, now cover your face in some aloe vera and some really good um, cleansing cream that's going to also get the other makeup and everything off. And when you're all done, you pat your skin, you don't rub. And then you want a really nice moisturizer. Dove right now has an excellent moisturizer. I use Lancome forever because I was a Lancome representative. So I had Lancome and Chanel. But I also like Dove. Not the Dove quarter cleansing cream that you bathe with because that leaves a film on your face skin. But the Dove new skincare line that's out. And that's going to help you to just have great skin. So if I'm a little shiny, that's because what you're seeing on my face is aloe vera with a little dove. And it's all good. So remember, and men, you have a tendency of rubbing your face too hard. And you're, you're picking at your skin. Stop doing that. And the days now of you touching your face are far and over. But back in the day, you used to just use the back of your hand if you had to wipe your face or do something. Now you need a tissue to uh, wipe your skin and keep your face nice and pretty. All right. So, LaToya said, stretching and toning class is tonight on Zoom. So go to Zoom with LaToya for her stretching and toning class. And that is Dancer for Life. Yes. So, here's what we're going to do. Okay, I'm sorry. Penny Zimmerman said, we did this Michael Jackson party. Awesome. May he rest in peace. We lost a hero. Yes, you did. We're going to say hi to, to Dory Augustine. Thank you for checking in. Angelo said, many of you got pretty hair. What do you do? <laughs> That's an ancient Chinese secret. No. Okay, you know, I just found this new hair care line that I really love. Uh, C-A-U-T-U. -U. They sell it at Target and at Walmart. It's orange and it's pretty. And I'll talk about that in another show and bring some of the products so you that you can see it. But just in a nutshell, to answer your question, Angelo, it's uh, just a beautiful laminates and, and oil on the hair. And I take my hair and I braid it 
into two big French braids while it's wet. And then take it loose and that kind of gives me the curls. Alrighty. Okay, so Nikki Lee, you do an amazing job when you perform. Thank you so very much, Nikki Lee. And hello, Jesse. Now, Nikki Lee, you happen to touch on my Get to Know Mini Fox category. So each week I'm going to talk about either a television show, a film, a fashion show, a special event, or something that I was involved in in my entertainment career. So today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite television shows, which actually started my career many years ago, and that was in Living Color. So to the Wayans family, Kean Wayans and Damon Wayans and all of you, thank you so very much for giving me my first opportunity on television when a living color was wonderful and coming on and everybody had to watch in living color because you learned some great things and the comedy was just off the chain and when JLo was a fly girl way back when she was one of the best dancers and she became obviously amazing lady later in her life but I knew her as a fly girl and I was in the waiting room at the Living Color set. And a friend girl of mine had been selected for one of the skits that they were doing. And I was actually waiting for her. And Kian Wayans came in and he says, what are you doing in here? And I said, oh, I'm just waiting for a friend. Am, am I, should I not be in here? Am I in the way? He goes, no, we need some more girls. Really? So I came to what was California as a theater actress, I had never done any television. And I had my first skit on A Living Color where the Wayne brothers played twins. They were Siamese twins stuck together and they were doing all these fun skits. Well, I ended up being a groupie that was trying to get their autograph as, as they're trying to get in the limo. And it was pretty cool. And that was my very first television experience with two powerhouses that became... <sighs> You can't even put uh, words to what the Wayans family brought to comedy in those days and still to today. Many comedy series that came after them were based on the foundation that they started. So the Wayans family and all of the uh, cast for In Living Color, uh, Jamie Foxx, David Allen Greer, you know, I got to work with all of you back then and it was exciting. I met Heavy D on a set and it was amazing. So thank you. And that's what we're talking about here today. What have we been doing? Kevin Bellamy, thank you for checking in. Danielle Lumpkin has checked in from Ohio. She is an amazing real estate agent. Woo! This girl has taken a real estate agency by storm. She's created her own agency running her business, helping people like you every day to find a home and live that dream of the picket fence and having something that you own. And for some of you, maybe you can't afford to buy a home. Maybe you bought a condo. Uh, it doesn't matter. You own something and it shows what you're doing with your hard-earned money. When you look back at life, you go, wow, I could say that's mine. So heels off because we're divas. Hills off, and I mean stilettos, <laughs> to Danielle Lumpkin. And thank you for watching. All right, so Angelo, he says, uh, you know she passed away the same thing Michael Jackson and Prince did. Yes, sweetheart. Um, and we're going to just go there for a minute. Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, Prince, we love them. We love what? They brought to the world musically. All of them were for, before their time and their legacy lives on through all of us and of our hearts and how we continue to uh, listen to their music and allow their music to change lives. Yes. All right. So, David, thank you for checking in. Thank you for checking in. Rico, thank you for checking in. Richard Burton, thank you for checking in. Richard Burton is someone that's in Los Angeles. And he is starting his own business. And oh, it's going to be amazing. Just imagine pulling up into a parking lot, walking into what is a outdoor restaurant with all of the cafe feel to it, 
the food is delicious, and you have all this music and the ambiance, and that's what Rick Burton is working on in Los Angeles. Not only that, he's a, a phenomenal uh, graphics artist, but the food is delicious, and pretty soon you're going to have a mini fox salad that he's naming after me. Yes, it's going to be the fox salad. I can't wait to uh, see if he makes it the way I do. <laughs> Rick Burton, thank you for checking in. Okay, Raquel Hines. Hey, how are you, sweetheart? Thank you for checking in. Raquel has been an amazing, amazing right arm, left arm, all of me. She's been helping me with uh, the social media and getting the talk show at another level, uh, right, working with me with my book and really helping to uh, focus uh, the world of what Minnie Fox is becoming. And we've keeping it real simple. You know me as Minnie Fox, so you won't forget my name. And we've created Minnie Fox Media, this housing a mini series, which is going to be various series and shows that we're creating, the Minnie Fox Talk Show. And you're going to reach us at miniefoxtalkshow at gmail.com, as well as our YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe, build our numbers. But guess what? I can't be Minnie Fox without you. So you want to make sure that you send me your stories. Help me to tell your stories and support your business and the things that you are doing. Penny Zimmerman, priceless. I love it. We need to smile and we all need to love each other. One person needs to smile today to make tomorrow amazing. Be kind, especially at this time. Thank you, Penny Zimmerman. So I want you right now, as you are watching me, to look at me, looking to see, hopefully, that I can see all of you. And I want you to smile real big from here and bring it to your face and let your face light up. Let's see all your teeth. Smile real big because life is amazing. And no matter what's going on in the world right now, you still control you. You're responsible for you. So make you happy and let's make sure you're around others spreading that same type of love. Iris Moore said, I'm putting out there the sister check. Check on your sister. Make sure she gets her yearly checkup. Thank you, Iris. A little earlier, I mentioned about the breast cancer awareness caravan that I participated in with Black Image Magazine here in Las Vegas where we caravan down the street, bringing awareness to breast cancer. However, there is ovarian cancer. There is all types of cancer that is in the body that affect us as women. And I agree with Sister Moore. Ladies, make sure once a year, maybe it's your birthday. Maybe it's your husband's birthday. A date that you won't forget that that's the day did you go and get your womanly checkup? And parents, if any of your kids are watching me, hello, babies. I love all my young people. I keep my shows clean, so, you know, you're okay. But if you're a young person watching, you know, a young teenager or what have you, you need to make sure that you go and get your womanly checkup every single year at the same time every year. And the insurance companies, they pay for your well-woman checkup. That's part of your uh, benefit for your insurance. And even Medicare, Cal, and Medicaid, they pay for it as well. So women, check up from the neck up to the toes. All right? Thank you, Sister Moore. Chauncey, thank you for checking in. Uh, Kifford Anthony, I, I want to say your name wrong. Thank you for checking in. Bobby Wilson. Now, if that's the Bobby Wilson that I think it is, as I mentioned, many of you that... Uh, are watching the show I know you personally and so I give you a shout outs when you when you uh, tune in with me so Bobby Wilson is the son of Bobby Wilson and those of you know who Bobby Wilson is from back in the day an amazing amazing live performance artist that stole our hearts with beautiful love songs and you know those moves those dance moves that were just out of this world guess what it all lives and thrives through his son Bobby Wilson and I am so looking forward to Vegas getting back 
on track and being able to see Bobby Wilson perform and his shows are great and amazing and he has his his hair done and all of that go to Bobby Wilson on Facebook and you'll see what I'm talking about thank you brother keep the music going it enlightens our hearts because music is the ways and the vibes and just the amazing calm to our souls and spirits thank you Cecil Jenkins Woo! hey there Thank you for checking in. I think that uh, everyone that's been coming in today has just been amazing. I can't stop smiling enough because those of you uh, that are checking in with me today, it just it's just great. This is how we do this, you know. Um, Tracy Thomas, thank you for checking in as well. And ooh, Penny Zimmerman said, "Share your recipe, please." Well, I have a lot of recipes. <laughs> And fortunately enough for me, my soon husband-to-be, he will eat everything that I cook because I cook pretty good from the South. Some of you don't know. So I have that Southern uh, flair to some of what I cook. We're talking collard greens, hot water cornbread, black-eyed peas, smothered steak. Uh, we can go baked chicken, fried chicken, sautéed chicken, how you want your chicken, how you want your fish. Can we make some homemade cookies? That's right. Some peanut butter with chocolate chip and pecans in it. <laughs> okay. We'll do that another show. You all write in your favorite recipes. And that will be a show that we do. And Penny, we will go a little more into the um, world of recipes and some good food to eat. All right. Let's see. Ah, Buddha, thank you for watching. We are laughing here. I, I'm loving everyone checking in. Right now I'm looking at uh, Derek Luke said, Hello, Minnie Fox. He is an amazing IT techie. You know, you need your computer fixed. You're trying to figure out what your program system is. He does it with his eyes closed. It's like second nature. No problem. However, the graphics, um, all kinds of wonderful ideas. But the flip side to the techie is his muse and his muse is ac trays as a phenomenal uh singer out there in the industry just completed a, a new video so go to youtube and look up actrays.com or just actrays.com and look up the website and you'll see all of the the music and the videos that are there and he's doing an amazing job uh also very very talented with filming and editing Kind of gives my son a little run for his money. And uh, you should uh, check him out if you need any of that done. And our, hats, our heels are off to you, Derek Luke. Penny! <laughs> Penny said, you're smiling, but some people are crying. And we can bring them love. Okay, so I'm going to stop on that moment. For those of you that are home alone and you are watching me today... I thank you for feeling that I'm worthy enough to come into your home and share some love to you. And I do this because I do know some of my friends are home alone. Older friends that I call family as well that are confined to their homes because of their age or their health conditions. And their friends can't come see them or visit them. And they got to FaceTime and Zoom and all of that. And it's it's so disheartening in the world when you can't touch. When you can't feel the touch of someone letting you know that they love and care for you. So those of you that are home alone, trust me. We are coming on every Tuesday. We're going to do the best we can to share some love and light to you. Write the show. Let's talk about some of your stories. You know, through the pain, there is always the rain that washes away any sadness. And I know those of you have heard many times a preacher say, and joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning for everyone because it's a new day to start over. How are you accepting that day to start over and allowing that joy to penetrate you? When you by yourself and you don't have anybody. So I'm glad that social media allows us to come 
on Facebook or Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, however, and exude upon you that are out there that have no one. The tears of joy. The tears of joy is where we want the world to be. So let's work on that to long, alone together and together alone. Janet Hurd is watching. Thank you for checking in. Janet, Janet was a part of that caravan that we did where we had so much fun with the women of uh, the breast cancer awareness. Thank you, Janet, for checking in. Metasoul. It's not often that you meet someone when you're working on something and you and that person continue to connect. And that's who Metasoul is to me. I met her in Nordstrom's. I actually uh, did some personal imaging for Metasoul. And she is a woman of virtue that she dresses to the hilt. And an amazing mom and dear friend. And Metasoul, just meeting you that one day. You know, we've continued to be in each other's lives for about seven years now. And um, you're a truly amazing person. Thank you for checking in. Iad. Iad, are you still singing? I kind of lost contact with you for a little while, but Iad is a phenomenal uh, salsa performing dancer, singer, Iad. So, hola, como estas, mi amigo? Um, I love you, and I'm so glad that you checked in, and I hope you're still performing. Uh, if you're performing live on Facebook or any of the social media, let me know so we can plug your show. Thank you so much. So, um, moving on, we have uh, Darren that just checked in. Thank you so much. Now, I want to make sure that I address a few names here in our category of celebration of life. And in our celebration of life, just in the past two weeks, uh, there has been quite a few lives that have passed on. We're going to first start with some of the celebrities that have passed on um, one Betty Wright, famed sexy soul, funk, R&B, songstress. I know you guys remember those songs that Betty Wright used to sing. She was amazing. Kenny Rogers, country and western. Little Richard, the king of rock and roll. Tootie Fruity, oh Rudy, wop, bop, bam, 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 booty, 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 right? Well, I met Little Richard many years ago in the elevator. And we were in the elevator for six floors in California. And he was amazing. And by the time the doors opened, I was laughing so hard that my mascara was literally running down my face because he was telling all these jokes and he was laughing and everything. Rest his soul. Roland Wirt, famed father of Los Angeles Entertainment, was also a mentor of mine. So those of you that knew me producing and directing and, and doing shows and, and nightclub promotions and what have you, Roland Wirt was one of my mentors. I adored him, loved him dearly. Uh, he recently passed on. However, the world of Los Angeles embraced his legacy. There is a beautiful billboard on Crenshaw and King near the Regency West in his honor. And I just so wish that that billboard existed before he passed away. But Roland knew that we all loved him. And he was the man when it came to the white parties and just having a good time. Tell somebody, he used to say. Tell somebody, help somebody, and be about somebody. Roland worked. Now, Je Janet Du Bois of the sitcom Good Times, a legendary actress. I, I had an opportunity to meet her and get a photo op at the NAACP Awards, and she was truly amazing. Roy Horn of our Las Vegas own uh, Siegfried and Roy, uh, the beautiful magic show, has passed on, and it's just been so many people. Andre Harrell, thank you. Thank you, my brother, for being an innovator where rock and roll, R&B, hip-hop blended. He was the founder and creator of a phenomenal record company that housed Sean Puffy Combs, Heavy D, Mary J. Blige. Yes, 
this gentleman was amazing in the music industry. And I think what led him to be the success that he was, was his heart. And he was a dream maker. He was a dream maker. Thank you, Andre Harrell. Now, lastly, I want to bring attention to Georgia. And Hamad Aberi, family, our hearts go out to you. As many of you know, uh, right now they're, they're going through some very hard times in Georgia trying to figure out exactly what was on the mind of these two men that felt that they were worthy enough to chase a person down and take their life. That's not of God. That's not of God. And we just want to say that we are pulling for the family to heal and to be as understanding as possible that their son has gone on to heaven. And because of that tragedy, it's going to shed light on the world coming together in many, many ways. And I've already seen many people being very vocal, not only celebrities, but just everyday people coming out and speaking about what happened. So our heart goes out to those families, and that is our that is our um, celebration of life category. So those of you who are still just checking in, uh, we want to say to Denise Britt, you know, we love you. Everything is good. We're going to put a cookbook together. People are talking about how, how much they love to cook. <laughs> now look, we were talking about ways of communicating. So if you are a singer out there, an actress, a model, you just got a recipe that you want to share. You a mom. Bring it on the show. Write minifoxtalkshow at gmail.com and tell us your stories. Now, in my feature today, there are three people I want to recognize. One of them is Andre Seville of Andre Seville Designs. You can reach him at aseville527 at gmail.com. aseville527 at gmail.com. He is a very talented and creative designer. And later on, you're going to see some of the new faces of Mini Fox, our Mini Fox Media, etc. A bougie on the budget, Dream Vacations Diva, the um, our doggy show, Spirit Joy's Playhouse, and he created all the logos uh, for those shows. So check out Andre Seville. Also, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't say anything about my son and his crew, the Ways of the Soul. The Ways of the Soul .com. Check out all their videos. The album is dropping in July, so <clears throat> if any producers and directors are watching, <laughs> these young people need a break. They need someone to take them and go, woo, and do what Andre Harrell did for Puffy and make dreams come true. Let's do that. Now, Derek Luke, for his video that just came out, you can look him up on YouTube, as I mentioned, under AC Trays, and watch his, watch his videos. And if we're all... Working together to make a difference, guess what? Everything that we do is going to make a difference to everybody else. So let me check here to make sure I'm not missing anybody. Darren said, can always count on you. Thank you so much. Just love all the races of people that God wanted. Words are everything in love. Homelessness, say hello. Hearts, make another heart. Be happy. Be in thought. That's from Penny Zimmerman. And yes, she did bring up the homeless. Homelessness uh, is running rapid right now in every state, more so because of COVID. Most of the states kind of had the homelessness kind of where they start opening shelters and they were getting everybody off the street. And it was going very smoothly. And companies and people were donating clothes and shoes and food and things. And so when COVID happened, it kind of put a rift in that. Not kind of, but just in Vegas alone, there were a few homeless people that um, became victims of COVID. 
and they were put out of the homeless shelter onto the street. And then the homeless shelters start vacating the homeless people onto the street until the Cashman uh, Convention Center allowed all the homeless people to come into the parking lot. And then different companies finally start bringing tents and blankets and, and what have you. And it's just, it's just heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. You know, and we are all in a certain way about going out in public. And we got to wear our gloves. And we have to wear a mask. And we have to do those things to protect ourselves. But what if you're one of them and you don't have it? What if you're one of them and you're, you're trying to just exist in the world so let's pray for those that are less fortunate that they too will have a light on them where they can get the things that they need so very desperately daily and dean and danny willis whoo i got the double d's to check in real quick well i'm gonna talk about both of you daily and dean i've been watching you since you were in seventh grade and I have watched you develop into a phenomenal live performance artist. You went to college with the performing arts. You came back amazing. You were on your way to Los Angeles to tell Los Angeles and Hollywood to step aside. Don't worry. You're still going to get to do that. Continue to be phenomenal and amazing. And do your comedy skits and your dramatic skits. And you have an amazing voice. I saw you performing on your guitar. And I'm just so proud to call myself one of your moms too. Danny Willis. What can I say, Danny? You have known me since I was... I was... Oh. Okay. I was 18. <laughs> when I started in the fashion, fragrance, beauty industry in California and you were working with Fashion Fair and we came together and had an opportunity to work with Fashion Fair on two separate occasions as a makeup artist and we changed some lives, didn't we, Danny? We had some good times and although Fashion Fair isn't in existence anymore, it was, those of you that know, it was at Macy's, it was at May Company, it was at Robinson's and Broadway back in the day an amazing black skin care, black makeup, uh, and hair care line. And Danny, you were one of the innovators of that. Not only that, you are a phenomenal father and husband. Stephanie, my hat's off. My heels are off to you. I love you so much. And thank you so much for checking in. Uh, let's see. Larry Scott said, bonjour. Ooh. Okay, so you got me on the other part. Bonjour something and merci many. So he's speaking French. So my bonjour, oui, oui, it's about as good as I could, get as I get. <laughs> Larry Scott, <laughs> you threw me, you want to come with some Spanish, I can ride with you a little bit. <laughs> you have to teach me some of that uh, French that you're saying. Thank you. Oh, wow. Anand Hurst, thank you so much for checking in. Angelo. Angelo's been checking in and riding with me since the beginning of the, the shows, and we thank you so much to be a continued uh, fan on our show so those of you i hope that i've answered some questions for you that you've been able to share and listen to what some of our viewers wrote in about and that was pretty cool to see that you all wrote to many fox talk show at gmail.com you said what you wanted to talk about we did our pet peeves this week we talked about you know just our subjects and that's cool now look i'm going to end my show here in just a moment but I wanted to share one of my favorite books with you here. Now, this book is called Swift. It is written by two phenomenal ladies, um, Lance and Ross. And it's for you, ladies. So let me push this here a little bit. It's called Swift. How do we as women transition in our lives? What are some of the things we can do to make us better for our husbands, for our children, for our family, and for ourselves. And not to mention, for your friends and those that you love. I had an opportunity to actually meet the author and she autographed this wonderful book for me. I did finish this magazine, this book here, and it was just some amazing, amazing um, components in here. 
to help women help themselves to be better. And ladies, you got to feel good about you. We said last week that an atheist believes that the sun will rise and set. That means they believe in something. So that means that you as a woman, that empowerment is instilled with you and you first. The power is in you as a woman. You got to remember, we make babies. We carry the babies. And we raise our men to be men. And the husbands take over because some things you can't teach a man. But guess what? It starts with us. And that's empowerment within you. You got to know how valuable you are and how real you are to the world and what you're doing. Hey, Steve, thank you for checking in. So, lastly, there's a young lady. Her name is Lynn Connor. And back in the day, we used to model together. Her um, mother and sisters were uh, designers. And I was doing my little fashion shows in Vegas, uh, Los Angeles, producing these fashion shows. And I had a Mint Fox modeling troupe. And we go way back in the day. Any of you watching that knew me back then, you need to reach out. Because I'm trying to have a reunion get together with all of us that walk that runway. And Michelle Miller, I know you know most of them. But with that being said, Lynn Connor, Tuesday Connor, and Mom. Wow, you three ladies were amazing in my life. And still today, you are making uh, a way for women. You're writing movies now and, and, and empowering actors and young ladies to be inspired by what you do. Not only that, Lynn Connor, your daughter is a carbon copy of you. She is amazing. And right now on Facebook, you will find Lynn Connor and her daughter doing these comedy skits, and they are hilarious. So before I sign out, I just want to make sure that I reached everyone. If there was something that you wanted to say, you got about two minutes to get it in before I sign off. And remember, next week, we'll be right here live from 5.30 to uh, right about 6. And if for some reason you missed the show, don't worry. We will post it on the Facebook uh, pages. You also see it, uh, the link in Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and on YouTube every Thursday. Watch for a new show, meaning you're on the couch with Minnie Fox. Some of our archive shows are starting to publish every Thursday. You all have been amazing, and I enjoyed all of the comics that have tapped in. Jamila Davis just, just tapped in. Jamila, hello. How are you? Another amazing mother uh, that has uh, become a stepmom as well. And when you can love a child that is not yours, and you have a big enough heart to show that child which way to go that makes you an amazing person so those of you out there that maybe could not have had children you have been a mother or a father to someone remember that whether you were able to actually have children yourself there is someone in your life that you've been a mother or a father to as a mentor a big brother a big sister, and they look up to you. You are worthy of the lives that you're helping to save today. Katrina Ramsey. Wow. I am going to say this, and, and everyone's kind of like checking in at the last minute, but that's okay because I love it. You know, I'll go a little longer for you guys, another five minutes. Katrina Ramsey. I am going to talk about Katrina Ramsey, who just checked in. I call her Kay Ramsey, and I've been calling her Kay Ramsey since sixth grade. She is and was then my best friend in school as we grew up. Katrina and I came through some interesting times back then because she's Caucasian and I'm African American. A lot of the kids didn't get it when I would drink off my cup. And Kay Ramsey would drink off of it behind me. Or we ate off the same fork or spoon. Or we shared the same cookie that one of us just bit 
they didn't get it. They called us the Oreo sisters. And guess what? At 16, at the Disco Kid, we used to have so much fun. And our song was We Are Family. And to this day, every time that song comes on, I think about my K. Ramsey. And I sing that song. We are family. Uh, I got all my sisters with me. That's right, y'all. Y'all know that song. It goes for all the brothers and all the cousins and aunt and uncles with you, too. But K. Ramsey, you changed my life. It was because of you going to Barbizon Modeling School that I couldn't go to. I studied all your books. When you graduated, I graduated. When I moved to California, I became an administrator instructor at Barbizon Modeling School, changing the lives of the young people that I was teaching modeling and acting and poise and etiquette to. When myself, as a young person at that same age, couldn't afford to go to that school. But I studied your books and you shared with me. And our families loved each other. Our families loved each other. And to this day, you are still one of my ride or dies and my best friend. And I wish so that I could see you. Thank you for helping to add zest into my life as a young person when you probably didn't even know. And today, if you pass me that cookie, I'm going to bite it right behind you like I used to. And we are still the Oreo sisters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. One more thing. What are we saying here? Oh, <laughs> Penny said, I feel good. You know that I would now. <laughs> All right, Penny. Well, you guys, this has been my show. We're going to uh, touch bases back next Tuesday at 530. Tell a friend. Tell people that you know to write in to the Mini Fox Talk Show. Let's talk about it. What's on your mind? What's bothering you? What's hurting you? Remember, you are home alone. And if you are really home alone, reach out. Don't sit there and be home alone. There was a story about a young man who was thinking about taking his own life. He decided to call, it was either his brother or sister, to say something before he did it. He accidentally called someone else. And she talked him out of it. And to this day, they have been Facebooking each other, FaceTiming one another. They've fallen in love. And the love story behind a young man who was thinking about taking his life found zest in his life and someone he didn't know that loved and cared for him enough to talk him out of making that mistake sometimes we just need to be touched to be told that we are worthy that we are loved sometimes we need to hear it if you're in a position where you can't hear it then you need to see it. Tell someone today that you love them. Call them. Text them. FaceTime. Put it on social media. I love you. You love me. And this is the way it's supposed to be. All right, everybody. Thank you for checking in. Don't forget, YouTube, Mini Fox, subscribe. On the Mini Fox Talk Show, Mini Fox Talk Show at gmail.com. Send me your stories. Let's keep it real. Be safe. And God bless. <laughs>